All right, well, I got it open, finally. Um, I had I worked it from this side over, and this was the last one I got open. But um, not a huge fan of this brand or this unit, um, honestly. Okay, so now the whole thing's apart. There's the front and you know, the panel. So now you're going to stand it back up. Pull the front case away, and there's these two black things. Sometimes I fall, sometimes I don't, but they go right there and right there. That's what helps hold the solar panel in minus these things. Or maybe they go up top here. I guess you could put them top or bottom. Probably put them at the top since there's screws down here. We'll put the two black things down here at the top. Now your circuit board hides inside here. Um, and it's just uh, some Phillips screws, so we'll get the screw gun again and we'll okay that one's rounded out that one pulled out that one pulled out but this one up here is not really rounded out it's just it's spinning but it's not pulling out they don't use the best plastic on these things they use cheap plastic Doesn't want to come out. I'm gonna get a little pressure behind as I loosen it and see if that helps drive it out of there. Which I think it is working. There it goes. And then we get to push and pull right here. Just, there's these two tabs right here. They're kind of holding it in, so you gotta squeeze. And pull over here to squeeze and pull. Okay, set that off to the side, and there is your circuit board. So that's probably what's gone bad. And the new circuit board looks just like that. It's like this. This is your on the old PS 15s. This particular board was separate from it. it. actually mounted up on the frame of the solar panel. This is a regulator. I'm sure there's more to it, but this is like your voltage regulator. It's tied into this as well for your solar panel and the battery to help protect it and allow power to come through from the panel to the board or panel to the battery. And that's your transformer that they that they use on these things. Um, not much to it. A lot of stuff going on inside of here, but not much else. I mean, you got a little button. And then your capacitor and coil deal and transformer and such. Um, so, but the old PS15s, the early ones of this kind of style, were where this was separate from the board. Up inside here, they had a um, a big potted box of epoxy with all the electronics that's hiding inside of it. They don't make those anymore. They make a retrofit kit. That will turn a PS15 with that potted epoxy box into one of these with this kind of board. A lot of rewiring and changing and pulling things apart to make that work. Um, so if you got an old PS15 that has that a potted epoxy box, you can't get those anymore. I don't have any more spare ones laying around here. So the only way to turn the way to fix those old ones is you got to uh, um, turn it into a Solar Guard 155. But the batteries and the solar panels and everything else is the same. There's just got to change out this and do some rewiring and remounting of some things. Um, all right, so what you're going to do next, you're just going to start unplugging the wires. These only plug on one one spot, one way. Um, the other st stupid thing that they do is they got these two wires that go for your fence and ground. They're bolted in back here on some ring, on some ring connectors, so you got to take the stupid... You can either cut and splice, or you can, um, what you're supposed to do is you got to take these bolts off and pain the neck to do. I wish they would have done something different. You know, such a, you have to pull the bolts off and washers and everything. There's a nut here. You got to, you basically got to pull these bolts out, take the wing, con wing, wing connector off there, off, or what the, the ring deal on the wire, pull them off. And saw the new board and then put the thing all back together inside it. Is this probably was a better way to do it, but this is what they this is what they did. What size is that? I don't know if I have the right 
No, I don't have it handy. Well, we're just going to take it off the slow way. Because I'm just going to use a pair of small uh, pliers here somewhere. Well, I'm going to take these two bolt, these two nuts off here and pull these bolts off here. And then we'll get back on here. I don't have a socket wrench with me that has a right size socket for it. All right. Got got that all taken off there, and then there's a little little locking washer on each side, and a big old flat washer, and there as well. Save all that stuff. And just put, go ahead and knock them in there because you have to pull them out anyways. And then now. Those wires come loose. They have those little ring connectors on there. So now you can pull the board out. There's a, a couple of uh, yep, two Phillips screws. Pretty small, but they're there. You pull. You can't really fix too much on these boards. They don't sell any parts for the board itself. And honestly, Pedro doesn't sell any parts for their units for internal repairs, except for this model here, and that's about it. Um, I mean, you can get like some of those plug-in battery ones. They've got um, power adapters you can you can get and uh, change those out. But the um, and you get batteries for them, but uh, electronic parts. Uh, these are a disposable brand, so all their stuff is uh, throwaway. If it does fail outside of warranty, if it's well, the only good thing, I guess, is if it's within warranty, you can take it back to the store or wherever you bought it from, and they'll over the counter exchange it for you. But these are made to be disposable throwaway things, which is, but they're cheap. You know, the price of them compared to some of the other brands is. These are a lot less money, so you know, well, do you save a bunch of money and and buy a cheap one that might last you a while or might not, or you spend a little bit more money and get a good one that you can actually repair and it might last you a lot longer too. So you put those, come on, get in there. Cumbersome thing this is. Now we're gonna get it lined back up. Get that switch, that little push button switch back in its little spot. Get the holes all lined up. Get the hole just started just a little bit. Come over and do this one. Before you start plugging wires back into these these things here, go ahead and pull them bolts all the way through, and then you should go all the way flush down inside there, right up against the case. Those two bolts there in the corners, left and right. Now, I guess you can go and plug wires in, but we'll wait for that. We're gonna face put this face down, and now we're just gonna do it. Opposite of the way I took it apart, took the bolts out. Well, what I might do is put your finger up in there and hold that bolt in place so it doesn't, as you push the washers on, it doesn't try to move out of its place. Put the big flat washer on first, then the locking washer, and then the nut. And I'll go back and tighten these up with the player pliers or whatever here in a moment. Do the same thing over here. Finger up inside there to hold it in place. The big flat washer on first, then the locking washer, and then the nut again. So 
So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down right thinking about it. the ground side so we'll put our put these washers on there put, that's the ground knob that's the ground symbol right right there so your green knob goes here and then um missing i don't, I don't think it came missing so we'll throw another washer on there because it's missing one of them get the right washer The red knob over here on there. Now we're going to plug the wires back in. So that goes there. Dang, dang, dang takes up a lot of space on my workbench. This, this has this little little lip on it there that faces up because there's a little little tab right here this white thing that's just like this little catch and then you kind of get these wires kind of hiding right in that little groove there Let's put two over there two over there hopefully this dumb thing goes on right. All right. There we go. So now we're gonna put these, these three small Phillips screws in it. Now this should fix the problem. This is nothing else that can you can change in it besides the solar panel, but the solar panel wouldn't cause it to to do what it's doing or what it was doing. So it's got to be that board. Before we pull all this thing back together, put the screws on the back and then let's um, uh, yeah, pull the back open again to, to the wires, or one of the wires. Put back up inside the case. God, stupid thing. All right, sorry for all this stuff flying around everywhere, but only so much room on my bench with this unit. It takes up quite a bit of space compared to other ones. All right, all right, we got 12 and a half volts going into it. You got black to black, red to red for the battery. Clamp it right here so it doesn't slide on me and touch something it shouldn't touch. So now we're gonna press and hold. There it goes. Clicking and not a very loud click, but it does click. A little faint tick sound coming from it. I'm going to turn it off. So to turn it off, you just press and hold it. It'll flash like three, four, five times. Now it's off. We'll take the knobs off real quick. We'll put. Now, what the hell, we got a Patriot unit, put the Patriot tester on there. Any electric fence tester or test it, but we'll do it this way. Power it on. I would guess seven or nine thousand. Oh yeah. It's just for the hell of it. Let's see what another tester shows. That's at 9.9, .9, so 10,000 volts. Let's take this one. This one might give us a little different reading. Uh -huh, right about saying 10,000. Let's put a, uh, let's find a little short piece of wire. 
Let me do a little spark and jump on it and see what how big of a spark it'll jump. I mean, this isn't a big, heavy hit in unit by any means. So, there we go. So don't expect it to, you know, shoot a big spark. But it, you know, it's, you know, I think it's what it's a 0.15 output joule or something like that. So it's probably like 0.2 stored. So we're tied onto the ground. I mean, it close to the fence terminal, a hot terminal. And see what kind of spark it jumps. Not too bad. I mean, for for what it's designed to do, it's you know, uh, you know, it does a d decent job, I guess. But well, that, that's basically how you fix one of these things. Uh, this is a Solar Guard 155 or SG 155. The old models called the PS 15. But I'm gonna unplug all the wires from it. Now, uh, basically, what you gotta do is to start you know, putting everything else back together. So we're gonna take the wires and shut them back up inside here, clamp it shut, and then you've got to uh, got those two black things again. They fell out of this at the front, fell off earlier. So I'm gonna put these up here. One right there, and the other one over here. And then you want to put the bottom in first. Like I so said, this one's had three tabs. One there, one in the middle, and one in the, on that side over there. But on this one, the one in the middle, it's broken. Actually, here it is. There it is right there. So you want to kind of get those tabs kind of started into this little hole there. On both sides. squeeze it together so you want to get these started in first when you go to put it together so get the bottom those tabs going through a little hole and should lay right you know just right together so then you'll go ahead and put all your screws back into the case Like I said, this is the only Patriot model that you can actually replace parts internally on. Patriot and True Test, they don't make any parts for their other units that they can buy to fix their other units. I mean, I mean, usually what goes wrong in those other ones is something happens with the boards. But they're paying the neck to get a part. So they do that probably on purpose. But when you do get inside of them, the board's completely encased in like a gel epoxy stuff. So you can't pull any boards out. You can't put a new board in. Um, but, you know, if the if the unit is 60 bucks, 40 bucks, I mean, by the time you put freight both ways on, or freight to buy a part to get shipped to you, I mean, it, say the part was $30 and it charged $10 or 40 bucks right there. So that's why they're just a disposable, you know, cheap brand, disposable, I mean, I do, True Test makes Patriot, and they also make the Speed Right and the Stay Fix stuff here in the States. Um, and those those two brands are repairable, but this brand, the Patriot stuff, this is the only one, uh, this is the only model that they make that is repairable internally on parts, because they, they sell a bunch of them, so that's probably why they, you know, we'll supply some parts for at least this one. So you can get solar panels for it. Uh, batteries, a little circuit board and stuff. But if you need a part for one, or whatever, get a hold of us. We'll help you out with parts. We, we sell parts to people. You know, we don't always do repairs. I mean, we've got a lot of repairs that we do here ourselves, but um, but we do sell parts to people. Um, our website is fencerfixer.com. It's Fencer and Fixer, where the F is in Frank. Located here in the Midwest in Missouri. But we uh, offer free quotes and everything, 18-month um, warranty and everything that we fix when it comes to the parts and stuff. And we do cover the labor as part of that warranty as well. So you don't charge a whole lot of labor on fixing these things because, you know, this one took me like 20, 30 minutes to do. But, you know, I was explaining and going through it. It would probably only took me 15, 20 minutes if I just 
did it and not worried about explaining stuff. But anyways, if you need help or parts or whatever, get a hold of us at our website. Send us an email through there or there's a uh, question, you know, comments box on there or something you can fill out. Send a question over to us or there's comments down below. You're always welcome to send a question through there. You know, text or call us on our phone number, which is on the website as well. But go to fencerfixer.com. It's Fencer and Fixer, the F is in Frank. So um, until we do another video of how to fix one of these things or how to test one or how one operates or whatever, you know, we'll see you guys later. But again, we appreciate you checking out the video. And uh, until we do another video on that stuff, we will see you later.